The Empire graciously welcomes you to Vos Orbital. Ambassador Yoran deeply regrets that he was unable to greet you personally. I've been instructed to emphasize the delicate situation you're walking into before you head for the surface. The Ambassador is concerned that your business could jeopardize the Empire's interests on Vos. Whatever problems you've got here, I'm sure I can take care of them for the right price. You don't understand. Every single thing you... we do here is scrutinized and used as leverage in negotiations. The Vos are stubbornly isolationist and abundantly aware of their own value to the Republic and the Empire. It is vital that the Empire fosters goodwill. You must remain on your best behavior. I'll conduct myself accordingly. It's the nature of your profession that has the Ambassador concerned. The Vos abhor discord and don't tolerate violence within their territory. You'll mix peacefully with the enemy here. The Vos revere their mystics. D deal carefully with them, or, or preferably not at all. Also, outsiders are barred from Voskar proper. Don't pick fights. Be polite. Stay out of Vaska. Understood? I will let Ambassador Yoran know to expect you. Head to his office once you've landed. Have a safe visit. Let's get going, Blizz. Hi, Trubadalaga. What kept you? I must have lost three years of my life imagining the damage you were doing here. Darth Seraphin had an offer for me. Sith get to cut in line. He what? You didn't mention your arrangement with Darth Tormund, did you? The last thing this situation needs is two powerful Lords of the Sith stamping on each other's interests. I don't generally discuss my business with outside parties. Keep it that way. We'll all be the better for it. That said, I look forward to being rid of General Redrish. That woman will be the death of me, if you aren't. What's she doing that's causing you so much grief? That woman's charm has stalled an entire team of my most skilled negotiators for months now. The Empire has lost a number of newly conquered worlds due to her interference, and we may well lose this one unless she's removed. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take the roundabout course, push her into the open. The caliber of targets I deal with usually takes some groundwork to get to. Good. Then I've got an idea where you can start. Imperial Intelligence suspects that she's behind the guerrilla attacks on our forces here, but we can't prove it. I believe your best course of action would be to root out General Redrich's officers in the field and gather evidence of her involvement. You're telling me I can't touch her, but I can shoot up her officers? You can't touch her here. Out in the wilderness, away from prying eyes, anything could happen. I'm afraid casualty reports are all we have to go on. You'll have to search around the ambush points for signs of the enemy. Take this hollow recorder. If you make any discoveries, transmit the evidence to my frequency. If you insist, but I'll want copies from my scrapbook. Uh, for my own sanity, I'm going to pretend you're taking this seriously. Perimeter, report. Perimeter, those charges, Prime Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Those charges primed yet? Stars, that was fast. No time. Hit him with everything we've got. Blizz, see what you can do with this. Bet it works better than it ever did. Fox nest compromised. Full retreat. Operation payment underway. Final transmission. Carrier one out. Carrier one to Peregrine. The garrison at Fort Cadenta appears to be sending out patrols of Imperial troops. Flights recalled and circling. 
What's the situation, General? Please advise. Peregrine has to be General Redrish. Harrier One, expect more. Yorin's convinced the Voss to allow Imperial troops to bolster Voskar's defenses against the Gormak. Monitor their patrols. If they stray too far, show the Voss how ill-prepared Imperials are for Gormak attacks. Peregrine out. I've got something for you. Transmitting now. Now? What have we here? Oh, this is better than I could have hoped. I might even convince the Voss to hand her over for trial with this. Are you putting me on standby? You've done everything you can out there. Better we not tempt fate. I'll handle things from here. Return to my office and lay low until I return. Hunter, have you returned? Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, stop. I need you here immediately. I can move as soon as you give me a destination. I'm at the assembly hall on recess from our hearing. The Voss have agreed to hear the accusations I've made against General Redrish, but they've also agreed to her request to face her accuser. She named you specifically to be called to account and submit to questioning. I've got nothing to hide. She'll likely make a spectacle of you, but we don't have much choice. This is the assembly hall's location. Hurry, I don't want the Voss to think we're storing. I apologize that the Empire has decided to waste your time today. You won't smooth things over with a smile this time. The evidence of your guilt is as plain as day. Your hollow recordings? I was really expecting you to have fabricated something a little more tangible, Ambassador. And your only witness is a known terrorist. Never been convicted, but I'm not the one on trial here. No, you're not. But your character is. You're a Mandalorian. Your people have made unprovoked acts of war against the Republic, and conducted genocides against entire species. Do you deny it? Wouldn't know. I just joined. Tell us, how do you acquire this evidence of yours? It's here. That's all that matters. I won't stand here and listen to the Empire slander me. The Empire expects you to take the word of a hired killer, instead of a respected official who's proven her commitment to the Voss people time and again. You will remember it is I who agreed to make the pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing to show my solidarity with the Voss. An idle promise. <laughs> my associate can just as easily agree to make this pilgrimage. Then take the trials. Outsiders, that will reveal true character. We have concluded. You have shown us much. Safe journeys. Hedging my questions was smart. A shame the ambassador had to open his mouth and seal your fate. I've spent months preparing for the trials. They're going to kill you. Ambassador? You shut her up right quickly. She wasn't expecting you to handle yourself so well. I'll requisition a little bonus for your performance. Keep it up. As to this trials business, I had to show the Voss we're willing to do anything the Republic will do. You understand? Not exactly what I'd call a victory, Ambassador. We rushed things. But we got her to show her hand. This pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing might be our opportunity to strike. These trials are obviously deadly. If General Redrish were not to return from her pilgrimage, it would hardly be unexpected. I'd rather kick back and wait for her to get herself killed. No, no, no. If General Redrish is willing to take the trials, she must know how to pass them. Completing the trials would make her revered by the Voss. She can't be allowed to succeed. Fadith Kai is an influential figure at the Pilgrim Camp, and is not hostile to us. See if he has any insight on getting you into this Shrine of Healing. 